Good morning. What did Jesus teach about marriage and divorce? Yes, this is a hard one. We're looking at Mark 10 today, the first 12 verses. Then he arose from there and came to the region of Judea by the other side of the Jordan, and multitudes gathered to him again. And as he was accustomed, he taught them again. And the Pharisees came and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife, testing him? And he answered and said to them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and to dismiss her. And Jesus answered and said to them, Because of the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. In the house, his disciples also asked him again about the same matter. So he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if a woman divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. So, yeah, I know. This is a hard passage. And not all of our relationships are going to live up to this ideal. But God's plan for you and I is that if we choose marriage, that a biological male will marry a biological female and vice versa. We are complementary. We're designed to complement each other. And so that's God's plan. One man, one woman, and, and a lifelong union, a marriage. As I said, I know that every marriage doesn't live up to that. In fact, I know, I know that we all have room to grow. And so we need to pray that God will help us. We need to value each other in a bigger way than we often do. Here in this passage, we see that it was very easy to divorce in the old days, in the times of the Bible. You could just write your wife a note and say, we're divorced now, get lost. That's awful, and Jesus rails against that. He's very much against that, that treatment. We need to treat each other as with value and respect and appreciation. One of the best gifts that God can give us to help us on the way to the kingdom and to help us learn we're a little bit too selfishness, we're enormously too selfish. The way to learn that is to get married. When you get married, you'll find out a lot more about how selfish you are and you'll know more your deeper need of the help of God. Another thing to keep in mind is that in the Bible, many places, marriage is used to symbolize the union between God and His people. And so that is put there, like Ephesians chapter 5, for example. There's several. But since it's such a big deal, God uses it in such a mighty way to illustrate His kingdom, our marriages should reflect something about the kingdom that is a teaching tool for others. Wouldn't it be wonderful if your neighbor or your friend said to you, you know, by the way, one thing I respect and appreciate about you is the way you and your spouse obviously love each other and treat each other with kindness and dignity and respect. I want my marriage to be like that. That tells me a lot about your, your religion. It'd be nice if our neighbors and friends would approach us with that kind of a reaction. So marriage is a great help to the kingdom. It's not for everybody, but uh, it's, it's a great blessing. And we all need to do better than we've done. God help us to do better with our spouses and our children. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the gift of marriage. It can be very difficult. And yet, Lord, you are using it to help us prepare us for the kingdom. Help us to give respect and love to our spouse in a way that we usually maybe don't do. Lord, be in our lives and so that we can help our spouse toward heaven and receive the help that you want to give us through the spouse you've given us to help us go to heaven. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for these gifts. In Jesus' name, amen. This is a tall order, but the grace of God is sufficient. God be with you. You have a wonderful day today. Marriage is a gift to us. Let each of us renew our commitment to be all that God would want us to be for our spouse. Have a wonderful day.